Hello, everyone, and welcome to the August 2018 edition of the App Demo Jam, covering small and medium business apps on the App Exchange. My name is Jeff Gross. I'm a Salesforce MVP, and I'm joined, of course, by my co-host and good friend, Salesforce MVP, Joshua Hoskins. How are you doing today, Joshua? Great, Jeff. Glad to be here. Can't wait to get into the Demo Jam today. Got a lot of great apps for them. It is a good bunch. And of course, you know, not only is it good to have him with me today, I'm also joined by the always amazing Demo Jam master herself, Amanda Nelson from the Salesforce App Exchange marketing team. Hello, Amanda. Hello, everybody. Uh, another great Demo Jam. Last one before Dreamforce. I'm super excited. It is. I tell you, we've been doing these all year, but we've got a whole bunch of them coming up at Dreamforce. We're going to have to tell you about a little bit later. No. You, our audience, are welcome to follow along with the webinar today live on Twitter. You can use the hashtag AppDemoJam. You can ask questions of the Demo Jam participants as well as give the App Demo Jam a little shout out. And you can just show a little bit of appy love out there using that hashtag. Today's participants in the Demo Jam are some great awesome apps we have, including Get Feedback, Exactly, and Conversica. But you know what? Before this competition can get started, Joshua's got a couple of rules for the Demo Jam that we have to abide by. So, Joshua, what do you got? Sure. Same rules. Haven't changed. Just keep them super simple. So, three minutes to demo your app. That's all you get. No slides are allowed. There'll be one winner chosen by you, our audience. And uh, if we have any of the uh, employees from the uh, apps that will be displayed, you can't vote for your own company. Sorry about that. And that's it. Super simple. Been doing this for almost about three years now and don't plan on changing the rules anytime soon. So with that, Jeff, I think that we're ready to get started. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Joshua. And just to let everybody on the webinar know, there will be a 30 second warning. This is a three minute demo. So 30 seconds before they are done we will hear a little bit of owly sounds. And then of course, at the three minute mark, there's gonna be a marker to say, your three minutes is done. But I know these guys have practiced, they're gonna be ready to go. So without any further ado, I'm gonna kick it off with Conversica. Our first demo jam is Rachel Brooks, an artificial intelligence sales assistant at Conversica, which I think is actually one of the first times we've had an artificial intelligence uh, being on the demo jam. So let's hear. What we've got here is Rachel. She likes to work 24 seven. She doesn't get sick. She's always has a good attitude and speaks multiple languages, which is a huge plus. She's persistent, prompt, per personal and professional. In her first month, she has been a sales assistant. She's been supporting this SMB company. She's done the work of 44 sales reps. And by her second month, she's helped generate 6 million in qualified pipeline. She's here to show you how she follows up with 100% of her leads and to show us that grand demo. We have Alda Quintanilla with us today. Alda, are you ready to show us what Rachel can do? Yes, thank you, Jeff. Awesome, your three minutes begins now. I know those numbers are impressive and I'd like to show you how I do it. This is my favorite conversation. This lead is a badge scanned at Dreamforce 2016. It's an oldie but a goodie. We get so many badges scanned that there is no way that my humans can follow up on them cons consistently. So they give them all to me. I reach out to Connie, introduce myself, and because I integrate with Salesforce, I know exactly where this lead came from. So I refer it, so I refer to it, and I ask the question, can I set up a call to learn more? My whole purpose in life is to find people that are truly interested and set up a meeting for my sales reps. I don't get a response after the first email, so I send a second and a third. And then Connie does respond back saying, reach back to me in 2017, end of January, early February. Now I'm able to interpret this response and know what to do next. So I pause myself. Yes, I'm that smart. In the meantime, this lead changes hands several times. It goes from Mohammed to Kevin, Kevin to Chris, and so on. And as you know, when leads switch hands, they get, to get, lo they get lost in the shuffle. But this does not keep me from doing my job and following my cadence. And on February 8th, I email Connie again. This time, unfortunately, I get an out of office response and she's out until May 31st. So I pause myself again. By the way, I'm also able to interpret out of office responses because I'm just that good. 
On June 1st, I emailed Connie one last time, and she responds back. She remembers Conversica, and she'd like to talk next Tuesday or Thursday. So I mark this as a hot lead, and I do two more things. I respond back to Connie, introducing the sales rep that she's going to be speaking with. I provide a link to his calendar. And because I don't have her number in Salesforce, I ask for the best number to call. At the same time, I notify the sales rep that I found him a hot lead and that Connie wants to talk to him. I'm proud of this work because it took eight months for this lead to become an opportunity. And not once did I need to get my humans involved until the end. If you're interested in finding out more about me, go to Conversica on the App Exchange, and I'll be happy to help you. Look forward to chatting. Wow, even a little bit early there, but Alda, that was actually really cool. I think, you know, in small business, there's so much to be following up on, and it's hard to know which leads to be working on, which are the best ones. And by automating this process, by allowing the well, the manual labor, let's say, to be done by artificial intelligence, being able to read out that email response from the person. I mean, that's huge, huge, huge benefit because now you don't have to waste time interpreting that, figuring out how out of office works. And by automating the setup of those follow ups, you're definitely uh, you're you're providing a lot better leads from that. So I can see why this is beneficial. Good job there. Thank you. So Amanda, what have we got for an audience question for Alda today at Conversica? All right, yeah, that was a great demo. I love how the, uh, the agent was the one demoing. That was pretty cool. Um, all right, the question is, um, does this replace uh, my marketing automation or other sales marketing tools? That's a great question, and we get that a lot. And no, we do not. We actually work in conjunction with tools like Salesforce and marketing uh, automation tools like Marketo, Eloqua, and Pardot. We actually integrate with them as well, too. So what we really do is enhance those tools and work together with them. And we're an extension of whether your sales team, your marketing team, your customer success team. Awesome job. Well, thank you, Alta. appreciate you being here today. We are going to move on to the next one. I'm going to toss it over to Joshua in a couple minutes here, but we've got another demo from one of the ones I'm going to introduce here coming up next. And that's Get Feedback. You probably use Get Feedback out there. It's an easy to use survey software that integrates with Salesforce, helps you get beautiful branded surveys that measure the pulse of the audience, your audience, across every step of the customer journey. And since all this feedback flows right into Salesforce, you can take action, prove customer satisfaction, reduce churn, and better understand your customers' needs. Ultimately, Get Feedback helps you send surveys that get results. And to show us everything that Get Feedback can do, I got Mara Rivera with us. Mara, are you ready to kick it off for three minutes? I'm ready, ready when you are. Let's do it. Your three minutes begins now. Okay, thank you. So hi everyone. So today I'm going to be demonstrating how you can use Get Feedback for Salesforce to collect feedback at every step of the customer journey. So let's take a look at how Fitbit runs case closed surveys to measure customer satisfaction inside of Service Cloud. So right now we're inside of the Get Feedback Survey Builder where I've created my support feedback survey. It takes just a few minutes to create. You can customize every aspect of it from background image to font all the way down to button color. So I've already gone in and added a few questions, as you can see here. And if you want to add a new question, you simply choose Add a Question, and you choose from one of our pre-built question types. I'll choose Like, Dislike, and type in line. Okay, great. So let's quickly preview the survey to make sure that it's going to look good on every device. You can see here how it will look on an iPad, looking good. Okay, ready to go. So when it comes to survey distribution, email is one of, one of the most popular channels. In addition to email, there are a ton of ways you can distribute. You can do live chat, SMS, even embed it on your community or help articles. But I want to send this survey using a case closed trigger from Salesforce. And instead of sending a plain text email, I'm going to hop over to get feedback's email template builder. So here I have a beautiful mobile responsive email that looks just like my survey. And I've even used one touch email, which is really cool. You can embed a question from your survey right inside of the email. And in our test, we found that this nearly doubles the response rates. 
So I go down, I can export this Visual Force code, which also includes merge fields and data from Salesforce, copy it over, and now I'll switch over to the Service Cloud and simply paste that code. So you can see here what that email is going to look like when it hits the inbox. So let's open up a Fitbit support case. I want to know how this interaction went with the agent, so I've created some custom fields to match my survey, which you can see down here on the case. I've also set up a workflow to trigger the email when a case is closed, so let's go ahead and test that out. Oops. And when I hop over to the customer's inbox, you can see that email right here. So I'll go ahead and take the survey, say that I was very satisfied with my experience, that I'm likely to recommend Fitbit to a friend, um, that I wish you had this in yellow, because that's my favorite color, and I'll submit the survey. These are our custom exit pages. These are awesome opportunities for you to ask people for reviews. You can oh, even promote different oh. questions, like photos and videos. So um, here you can see that exit page. And now I'll go back to the case. I'll refresh the case, and you're going to see that that data is going to flow right into Salesforce onto those fields that we have created. Thanks for being patient with me during the live demo while it loads. You can see here a case score of five, customer comments all flowed in. I can also create reports and dashboards to track those metrics or use get feedback dashboards and text analytics to see what my customers are saying. Right up to all the done. wall there, Mara. Yeah, I know you were you were just <laughs> off the last actually, wow, those those dashboards actually look really cool too. You know, I, I learned something here today, even though I do the Demo Jam all the time, I'm familiar with a lot of Demo Jam participants, but I've learned a bit more about being able to embed that survey question into your email, which I had not known before. I've only known about the links, so that's fantastic. Yeah. I can totally see why that's going to increase the response rate because it looks so much easier to give your response and by putting it in there, you can either, whether you're gathering one question response or, or whatever it is, I can see why that's going to draw more people in. And I think one of the other benefits that I've seen from Get Feedback before as well is that it's it's totally meant for mobile response. So when you think about yeah. having that, that interaction with Fitbit, people are going to go to their mobile phones, they're going to see the survey come up. It's easy to jump into it. It looks perfect on any mobile device. It's easy to huge tap targets that you get all that stuff. And that's just good all around. So. Good job on that. Uh, and actually, that Thank dashboard you. is really cool looking too. So good job today, Maura. Uh, Thank I'm gonna you. Thanks so much. Yeah. Well, Amanda, what have we got for a question for Maura today? Let's try and stump her. What has the audience got? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, oh, okay. A question just popped in. This is a good one. What is the point of differentiation uh, for get, that, get feedback compared to other um, survey tools on the market? Yeah, I think our number one focus as a company is that Salesforce integration and making sure that it's really flawless. So we're partnering with Salesforce teams all the time to build out that integration. For instance, we're working with Salesforce right now to make sure that Get Feedback surveys can be served up inside of Live Agent. We just released Get Feedback for Pardot this past summer to make sure that you can weave and embed surveys into your marketing journeys and shift journeys and lead scoring based on that feedback. So we're laser focused on a seamless Salesforce integration and that's what we see as our big differentiator. That is a good answer to that because you're right, there are a lot of different survey tools out there, but that tight integration, being able to see this stuff in real time and the fact that you've got really good ties with the product teams at Salesforce all makes for a really good compelling story. So. Thank you, Maura. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, you bet. Joshua, it is time to hand the reins over to you. Let's get into our last demo for today. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Next up we've got to demo is Andy from Exactly, and he'll be demoing Exactly Align Star and Simply Comp. Exactly Align Star is a fully native Salesforce application providing seamless access to CRM data, including active pipeline customers and prospects. Um, it allows you to refine and optimize the sales territory mapping simultaneously um, by making multi-user editing, um, making it easy for managers uh, and, their no and their knowledge of local markets and accounts. Simply Comp makes it easy for comp administrators to purchase, create, and implement plans in just a few minutes with the industry's first DIY incentive compensation software. Wow, that's a mouthful. 
All right, Andy, are you out there? <laughs> awesome, I'm here. All right, so you're gonna just sum everything I said up in three minutes or less. Are you ready, I'm sir? Actually, I'm actually wondering how he's gonna do a demo two apps in this time frame. Two apps. I'm, I'm wanting to see it. <laughs> Outstanding. Right, Andy, Excited to be here. Your time starts now, sir. Outstanding. So as you mentioned, the first app I want to show is our territory planning app. So it exactly we help you plan, execute, and optimize your sales performance and employee performance. So for those that are familiar with territory planning, you probably live in a world where you have all of your accounts and contacts already living in Salesforce. And I've spoken to customers and prospects that then take this valuable online data, bring it to a map that they literally print out on the wall. Well, they don't print it on the wall, but they put it on the wall with stickies and all of that, like a one foot by four foot map. And that is how they do the territory planning. That is not modern and that is not efficient. So then Salesforce, once you install the AlignStar plugin, you'll notice you now have sales territory models as a tab. Within there, you can actually view your territories. In this case, I'm looking at the Northeast and I can see all of the corresponding areas. But wait, it's not complete if you don't have a map. So we can actually visualize all of this on a map that's going to show you all of your accounts and the corresponding territories. Um, and you can imagine you can drill into the fidelity that you need all the way down to the street to see exactly where those accounts are. But the real magic of the line star is we allow you to then take that ter territory you built now that you visualize and actually score it for you. So if you think about a field sales team, where they're driving to hospitals and they're um, you know, commuting and, and all of that, we can actually take all of that rich information you have, put it through our engine, and let you know and give you a scorecard that's clear if the territory is balanced, if the travel is efficient, is it compact, and then we can break that down by all of the particular areas within your territory and then show you exactly how you can optimize this to make sure your field sales team is um, you know, achieving the most that they can with their effort. Once that is done, we can then hop into our execution apps which simply comp is one of those. We also have Incent and Express. And within here, we can integrate all of your rich Salesforce data with that territory map we just planned out. So here are all of the closed one opportunities. Um, you'll notice I also have my uh, territories listed here. Feed it through our calculation engine. And when you're done, your sales team will not only have an optimized territory, but they'll also have a dashboard that will show them how much money they're making, how they're doing towards goal, um, and how much money they can be making in the future by running estimates against open opportunities. And then finally, all of this is available on the, on the go. So if I'm on my iPhone, on an iPad, this is all responsive. And so it doesn't matter what form factor you're using, you can have this rich data in your pocket to make sure you're making the most of your money and therefore your company is making most of the strategic spend around employee incentives and employee performance. And that's the end of that with 10 seconds to go, two apps. Wow, you actually did it. That was fantastic. <laughs> I'm just still like my my head is still spinning with the stats that you're able to provide <laughs> on the difference between the territories and not only showing the difference between the territories, but also sort of giving the user an indication of how they can balance it out. It's something that I haven't really seen before that I think is is very, very useful. So thank you for for showing that. I mean, yeah, this one here. I mean, the fact that you can give an, uh, a report card on the territory, how it's performing, and then provide feedback on how to optimize that and improve, that is, that is absolutely brilliant. Great job on that. Thank you. Wow. Still, I, like, I've, I've, I'm at a loss for words. I'm just, like, reading through it. All right, Amanda, what questions do we have for Andy? Because uh, this is pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. And he actually, he did it. He did the, what he said he was going to do, which is awesome showing uh, exactly. two apps in three minutes and how they work together. And exactly, yes, I'm throwing that in there too. <laughs> All right, um, awesome. I guess uh, the question we have, uh, it's more, um, that's an interesting question. The question is, how did you think about coming up with this um, in terms of the importance of your apps working together versus them uh, being completely independent, which they can be, but always being independent? Yeah, that's a great question because, you know, we actually have a whole suite of products. We have nine various products. And the core of those, they touch on helping companies plan out their incentive compensation plans, execute those, and then optimizing, which I didn't get to. That would be the third product I would demo if I had one more minute to show you how you can take all of this great data and make sure you're actually spending it in the proper way. 
But in terms of how we thought about the suite of products, we actually started with that middle piece, the execution piece. We started by, because that was that's a top of mind problem for a lot of companies. How do I actually take this rich data out of Salesforce, put it through a calculation engine and come up with the right number? You know, paying people correctly is at the core of what we do, and that's super important. But once we nailed that, we then realized that there's these adjacent problems. It's great to have a plan that you can accurately pay out. But what happens if the plan is not built right because your planning's off or your quotas are off or your territories are off? Then finally, once it is paid, how do you make sure that they're driving the strategic behavior that the company wants to drive? And that's where that third piece of optimization. So again, starting with our core and then looking at the adjacencies prior to and then after downstream and upstream of that core. And our, and our customers obviously love it. And to your point, you can pick and choose which product and which pieces uh, make the most sense given your needs. That's amazing. That, thank you for answering that. So that's actually like great context for sure. All right. All right. So Jeff, what's yeah. next? So, you know, that's actually the end of the demos, but it's not the end of the webinar for everybody. So everybody get out there and get ready to vote. You guys have seen three awesome apps for SMB out there between getting an artificial intelligent agent to be able to do responses out there for you and make sure that your deals are moving forward to getting the feedback that you need from those customers and prospects and getting it directly into Salesforce all the way down to aligning and grading your territories and making sure that you have the right alignment of people to deals, to performance, to all that stuff together. We saw some pretty cool demos today, so I'm excited about that. The voting is up there on your screen now. We wanna make sure everybody who's in here gets a chance to vote. Tell us which one you think is best. And while we wait for the voting results to come in, I think it's time to talk a little bit about Dreamforce because we're 39 days away, Joshua. I know, Are you isn't ready? that crazy? Yeah. Yes, there, there's a ton of stuff happening. So if you haven't seen it already, uh, there's posts on Twitter about the Happy Street team. So you're going to want to be buddy buddy with anyone's, with anyone who ha who's been in that photo. But more importantly, today I wanted to talk about just things that are going on. You know, Dreamforce is always such a big event, and uh, it's already sold out. It sold out even quicker than last year, I think for sure. Um, and you know, with that, there are things that you know some veterans and also um, some newbies may want to know. So it's like a quick, a quick, quick tip session. Um, and this is really generally around the uh, the agenda builder. So as of right now, um, if you have registered for Dreamforce, you have access to the Dreamforce portal. Um, and a tip for those of you who um, are going to Dreamforce is you're going to want to get into the uh, the portal and actually start bookmarking the sessions that you like to attend because uh, very shortly they'll open up those sessions to actually be registrable. And it will actually be quicker for you to go to all the sessions that you bookmarked and then click on register rather than um, having to do that uh, closer to the event. And spots do fill up very uh, quickly. And if you're not registered, you actually have to wait outside the room until all the register people um, get in. So if you're one of those people that you know want to have a seat um, at every session, you're going to want to get into uh, the agenda builder early and often to bookmark your place. So you know what, Joshua? Yeah. When I first went to Dreamforce, which is going back quite a few years, there were just a couple of tracks. I think there may have been a total of eight tracks. Well, eight tracks. It wasn't quite that far ago. But when we did it, all of the tr sessions for that track were in the same room. So we were over in Moscone West. You stayed in the admin track. And it was like, okay, the next speaker is up. And you just kind of flowed from one to another. And this year, I don't know what the actual total. Gosh, do you have an idea? Is it 1,400 sessions? How many breakouts do we have out there this year? I mean, uh, I, really, I really don't know, Amanda. Honestly, it's, I don't know, but it's typically it's, over a thousand. Yeah, exactly. So it's huge. Of course, you want to make sure that you try and get uh, in for the keynotes as well. Of course, there are tons of places that you can watch that as well. And I'm so happy when they started build, when started putting the jumbotron out in the street out there so that people could relax, enjoy, and still take part of it because, you know, you can't get to 100,000, 150,000 people into one room and and have all those keynotes in one place, but you can simulcast it all over the place. And so you can go and enjoy the sunshine, hopefully no rain in September this year at Dreamforce, but it's going to be a fun yeah. time. 
It's just super, it's just a super big, it's a, it's a campus this year um, where, you know, the, it's just grown. So you actually have multiple hotels, you know, another tip is for people to actually wear comfortable shoes. Uh, that's always important because you always will be doing one. a lot of, <laughs> yeah, you will be, will be doing a lot of walking as well. Um, so uh, do wear comfortable shoes, but I, you know, Jeff, to your point, you know, going, uh, going back and uh, being able to, you know, have some wisdom with you as long as you've been going kind of feel like the the senior in high school now where watching sort of you know a um a, a freshman come in and experience dream wars and just be like wow this is incredible yeah. uh it's it's still just an amazing experience to see these freshmen come in and uh realize how big an event it actually is it is it is amazing it's going to be overwhelming but you know what take your time and really spend the time getting to know people around you know when you're standing in line waiting for a a box lunch or something talk to folks and use that time to get connected with the community so i think we are at the point of announcing our winner joshua sure are. so just for everyone on the phone um there will be a trophy presented to the winner which is displayed here on your screen uh this is a picture of a team winning um at one of our on-site uh, demo jam presentations which is pretty cool and so the winner of today's trophy for the uh, app demo jam that we're having today is get feedback Congratulations, get feedback. Uh, Round of awesome, applause. thank you. No problem. We're excited like to, to see you guys at Dreamforce. Oh no, I just would, you know, thanks for letting us join you guys today and we'll be at the Dreamforce Demo Jam as well and we can't wait. Another chance to win another trophy. And you know what, actually, to tell us a little bit more about that, Amanda, why don't you tell us a bit about what's coming up at the Dreamforce Demo Jam Extravaganza Oplenty. Demo, demo yes, well, can, uh, yeah, more demo jams. Um, we have 11 demo jams coming to Dreamforce. Uh, and even if you can't go to Dreamforce, don't worry, because we are still going same time, same place every month. We are taking September off for our webinar, um, but we'll be back in October uh, with sales apps and November with service apps. Uh, but yeah, let's talk a little bit about Dreamforce. Next slide, please. Joshua, you're still controlling. <laughs> uh, happiness is coming to Dreamforce. So our big theme for Dreamforce is happiness. What does happiness mean to you? It's those moments at Dreamforce that just mean so much. It's meeting a prospect for the first time or seeing someone you've only talked through through email or having happy hour with someone you haven't seen since last Dreamforce. It's just a lot of fun. Uh, so demo jams, 11 demo jams are coming to Dreamforce. We've got Appy DJing the whole thing. Uh, there's a schedule of events happening. You can find a lot of these on dreamforce.com if you search for demo jams under sessions. We'll also be tweeting out all the individual uh, dates, times, and locations. We're covering a wide range of themes, including employees um, doing labs uh, demo jam, which should be cool. Uh, so this is a look at all the different demo jams. We have our esteemed hosts, Jeff and Joshua, doing the mega demo jam which will be the combination of the seven winners at Dreamforce previously. And then we also have a Salesforce Live demo jam you can watch online. Um, and all you have to do is go to dreamforce.com and you can find uh, the live demo jam there and vote online. So there's plenty to do on site as well as online for this. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. What is a mega demo jam? Well, this is our third year going. Conversica actually is our uh, current champion. The year before that was New Voice Media. So we will have um, a new champion potentially in 2018, which is exciting. Uh, we get over 200 people coming to the session. It's actually seven winners from the last year. Um, I have to update this slide. But uh, the MVPs and tuxedos are Jeff and Joshua, as you can see there. I'll be there. We'll have a special guest, a huge trophy. It's going to be a blast. It is a blast. And that, you know, it's kind of cool that we've got a few years behind us in doing this. We want to keep growing it. And it's because of you guys out there who attend the demo jams and well, obviously because of the app exchange partners who are participants in this, that this has been such a successful thing that Salesforce is doing over a hundred demo jams this year. And Joshua and I don't work for Salesforce, but I tell you what, we have a fun time doing this. It's been over three years. We've been doing this with Amanda and let's keep it on rolling. 
Absolutely. Yeah, uh, for sure. Thank you all for being here today and, and hope you had fun. And we'll see you uh, in October on the webinar. Bye, everybody.